Alright, so today we are actually going to start filling the tank up with water. So it's a Monday afternoon, so it's kind of a rainy day today, but then we are actually waiting for um, our good friends from Iwana that is going to come down here to fill up this entire tank for us. So I didn't really want to go with like the RODI to make my own RODI and then after that add in the salt and stuff like that. So I'm kind of lazy, so why not just, um, since they are just nearby, right? why not just let them come here with um, freshly made salt water. So they also use the RODI with the Red Sea salt mix. So just get them down here to fill up the tank and then after that, once the tank is filled, uh, we will start to turn everything on and then after that I will start adding the sand in. So while waiting for them to come and set up the entire holes and everything for filling up this tank, right? they also sent us a pair of really interesting fish which is right inside here. Um, I'm not going to show you guys uh, what fish is that yet. Um, it's a very very interesting pair of fish. It's not just one fish but it's a pair of fish and they are actually going into the 5 feet but they can actually also go into this tank. So I haven't really decided where are they going yet. I'm not going to reveal the fish of this episode. I'm actually going to keep them, quarantine them and then once they are all healthy and ready right, then I will do a full video on them, just on them and then to show you guys how beautiful these guys are. But for now let's just wait for the guys um, to set up the holes, start the pump and get the tank filled. We will show you guys the entire look of the tank once it's filled with water and then turn on the plumbing, um, the pump, the chiller, so forth and so on and then we will start adding um, sand into it and hopefully from then on right, we can start putting in all the other equipment as well as a couple of livestock by the end of this week. Alright so once the tank is filled with water, right, the next thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to fill this tank up with sand. So um, I'm actually using the same brand of the same as the live product, right, which is also by Kerb C. So uh, over here we have the Kerb C. Um, this is the Fiji Pink. So this is a very fine sand. It's not really very fine. It's not like the C1 type of sand. I'm actually contemplating between um, a sand science that is about C2 and about C3. The reason why I didn't really want to go with the C1 type, like the, the Bahamas OLED, right, is because that um, the tank is pretty small and then with the wave maker, right, I don't really want sand to be flying everywhere. So this is why I went um, for the Fiji Pink instead. The, um, hopefully that the sand science and the green science of it, right, um, will stay at the bottom much better as well as the Fiji Pink comes with this little small specks of pinks in it so it's a pretty nice sand but then right now we are just going to top the bowl set up and then from then on once the entire tank is clear i will show you guys again on the end product on the sand and the live rock in the tank so we've just added um, both bags of the sand into the tank so as you guys can see it's pretty cloudy right now because of the sand and there's a lot of um high lows area bare spot watch once this entire tank is clear up right, then I will start rearranging the sand again. But ideally, I want to put this um, height of sand. So probably I'll need to move like all these guys to the back. And then this area here is where I just dumped the second bag. Right? All this area here needs to be flushed later on. But we will give this tank a couple of, hopefully by a day or so, for it to clear up before we start rearranging the sand. Then I will show you again the tank once it's totally clear up. But then another thing that happened was... um. When the Curb C live sand, right, they always come with this little small clarifier to help with the sand clarification, right? But however, when I pour it in, right, I accidentally pour the the bags in as well. So I cannot really find the snatches in the sand right now. So all I can hope right now is just wait for it to clear up a bit more. When I arrange the sand, then I will see it from then on. But the next thing that we will be adding into the sum, which is this over here. So this is also um, given by Reef Market SG, which is the max spec, the Nanotech Biospheres. So this is our biological filtration media that will be going into the refugium area. So I'm going to drop in probably about a box or see how much I can actually have um, space in the sum. 
and then we'll drop this in right now into the sum and then um, this will actually help to kick up our cycling phase right now with the live sand and the live rock. Okay, so the biological media is in the tank right now. So this is um, about 2kg worth of the max spec um, biospheres. So usually what I do right is the bottom first layer, I try to pack it as tight as possible. And then the on top one, right, just a loose one. Um, it's not going to fill up all the way to the top reason because um, this is going to be a macro algae um, section so once the water level fills to about here it overflows in down right this is the area where I'm actually going to grow my keto and the other stuff so this is why the 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 biospheres itself right the bar media right, is just going to be a bottom bit um, just to house all the pots the empty pots copy pots all those stuff is going to house here before they actually being fit into the pump and then back straight up to the tank. So this is like my little small um, nursery area here. Um, once this is all built in and everything, once everything is settled in right, we should get a good population of pots in here. And the hang itself is still pretty cloudy. So let's give it a couple of days and then once it clears up right then we will see the tank after that. So it's been a couple of days after we added the sand and the water into the tank, right? So um, the tank is actually cleared up right now. I will show you guys um, in a while more. So you guys can actually see the entire overall look with the sand, the life rock, the scape, so forth and so on. But overall, I kind of really like it a lot. So um, let's turn around, take a look at the tank. And then from then on, we will show you guys um, what is going on. So if you guys can see from now, right, um, the tank has actually been filled with the carob sea the Bahama pink, um, sorry, the Fiji pink sand, and then at the same time, the skip itself, I try to make it very, very minimal. It's not very minimal still because I'm um, actually I added in quite a lot more live rock than what I expected, and then but I actually added in a couple of um, nice smaller crevices, caves, swim throughs, and then a couple of nice platforms here and there on the skip so that um, it gives you guys a, it gives the fish a couple of places to swim through. A um, couple of nice, um, very cryptic stuff to actually hide here and there, and then as well as um, quite a lot of places for coral placement. So um, leave a comment down below if you guys have any other suggestions on the scape, what I should change, what I should improvise on, um, and any other things that you guys see that's going wrong with the tank. So um, once I'm done with the rock, the sand, and the water is actually clearing up, right? The next couple of things that we will be adding in is. Um, our vanilla milkshake from 25 gallon will be going over into this tank and then at the same time once that is done we will start cycling the tank and then at the same time um, we will probably move the wave maker the protein skimmer and then after that the lights on into this tank and that's where corals will start to come in so same thing if you guys like um, all the previous videos that we put up for you guys right hit that subscribe button um, to follow this tank's journey and then at the same time, right, we will actually be taking down this 25 gallon. So um, I don't think I will keep the 25 gallon for now because there are other plans for the studio which I will need to change here and there. So this is why the 25 gallon will have to go and then this tank will be the new tank for all of the corals. As well as on the other side, the wall, right, there will be a couple of changes here and there. So same thing, like, subscribe and I will see you guys soon next week.